peace is not the ultimate goal of life. It is the most fundamental requirement. If you hold it as the ultimate goal in your life, you will only rest in peace. If you want to enjoy your dinner tonight, or a walk in the park, or the people around you, you have to be at least peaceful. Do not make a natural aspect of your life into something esoteric. Creating a chemistry of peacefulness is your responsibility. There are methods to create a chemistry of peace within yourself. If you are willing to invest a few minutes a day towards your inner well-being, being peaceful will be natural. What you accumulate can be yours, but never you. If human beings do not encumber their intellect with any identifications of body, family, community, qualifications, caste, creed, race, nation, even the very species that we are, and the million other identities that we take on in life, life will naturally proceed towards its ultimate nature. Once you're identified with something that you are not, mind is like an express train that you cannot stop. Now you want to apply brakes, but that does not work. First you must take your foot off the throttle. Remind yourself for at least five minutes every day that everything that you're carrying, your handbag, your money, your identity card, the relationships, the heaviness in your heart, your very body are things you have accumulated over a period of time. As this process of disidentification grows within you, counterbalanced by a very deep sense of involvement in everything that you do, you will move from madness to meditativeness. The word Nadi Shuddhi literally means cleansing the Nadis. When we say Nadis, we are not talking about the seventy-two thousand because these seventy-two thousand are only a brainchild of the two basic Nadis, the Pingala and the Eda.